Remember last year's shortage of school bus drivers? Well, our area's largest school district believes it has solved that problem. The superintendent of Tippecanoe School Corporation spoke about this today and what else is expected in the new school year in an exclusive interview with Star City News' Asher Bookspan. The start of class in Tippecanoe School Corporation is still a few weeks away. So we're going to look at future. But these 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are spending some time now at Battleground Middle School, learning what to expect from their teachers and from other classmates. Their families are also learning that the federally funded school lunch program that started during the pandemic has ended. Families can still apply for assistance, but for the most part, parents are responsible for making sure their kids eat midday meals. Families that qualify for free or reduced lunch will need to complete that application. They haven't had to do that for the last two years because the lunches and the meals have been free for everybody. TSC runs more than 170 school buses, and while it's one thing to maintain them, it's another to operate them. Last year, the nation faced a shortage of bus drivers. This year, for the Tippecanoe School Corporation, that is not the case. Though, to make up for last year's shortage, routes as well as pickup and drop-off times will change to ensure that they have enough bus drivers. We will have some schools who may start a little bit later than what they're used to and get out a little bit later than what they're used to. But also we have some schools that may start a little bit earlier than what they did last year, but then they will get out of school a little bit earlier. Out of 300 school districts in the state of Indiana, Tippecanoe School Corporation is now the 10th largest. As the new school year begins, several construction projects are planned or are underway to accommodate the growing population. Administrators believe all the building is a progressive symbol of the present and a promising sign of the future. Asher Bookspan, Star City News, Tippecanoe County.